saddies are upon us. And I know that I'm smiling, but last year, seasonal depression or seasonal affective disorder literally chewed me up and spit my ass back out. And this year, I'm getting ahead of it. I am not going to let it make me its bitch again. Let's get into it. So in order to get ahead of this beast, we have to take a step back and look at previous years and see what affected us the most. I encourage you to take a step back, go into the past, whatever years it affected you the most, and write down what things were hard for you and kind of when it started and when it ended as well. Here's my list of things that were hard for me and it was really long, like it's basically everything. But, but here's my list. Self-care tasks were just basically non-existent and that's carried over into this year. I'm working on it. Um, household chores, <laughs> terrible, absolutely terrible. Our house was a disaster the entire four months that I was depressed. My boyfriend was also depressed too. It wasn't just me, it was a collective unit. Eating habits? trash absolute trash ate everything i wanted whatever i wanted obviously gained back 40 pounds so you might be wondering okay now that i know everything that happened how in the heck do i set myself up for success this year well i'm going to tell you the main thing is starting early getting your life together now that sounds epic and crazy and overwhelming right it's not. I promise you, it's not. <laughs> I can't do overwhelming because if I do, I will not get anything done. But you need to start with small steps now to set you up for success when you are in those big feelings and they are hard to overcome and everything feels like it's just pushing down on you. Okay, we're going to set ourselves up for success right now. The first thing for me that is number one, because I felt like this affected me the absolute most, was getting my eating habits under control now. Starting right now, you are going to make small steps every single day that make you proud and make you happy and get you to the way of eating that you would want to be 80 to 90% of the time. You are gonna start doing that now in small steps every single day. There are a few things I think that everybody should be focusing on, especially if we struggle in the winter months. First goal, eating enough protein. Protein is such an underlooked macronutrient that we do not get enough of. Eat foods high in vitamin D, vitamin C. Fuel your body with good food because we literally are what we eat. Whatever your healthiest self looks like to you, start those steps now in small ways every single day. Up your protein a little bit every single day. Make a homemade meal at home three to four times a week instead of two to three, and then bump that up as you go. Start small because if you get overwhelmed, it's, it's not gonna work, there's gonna be no point. Supplements. I am a huge fan of certain supplements. I'm not a huge fan of all supplements. I don't line my counters with supplements, okay? First off, ain't nobody got money for that. Second off, I think that we just pee a lot of them out any hoops. These are the things that I use to help myself feel the best. Electrolytes, that is that is number one. Electrolytes, 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 every single day. First off, they help you poop. And if you don't think that's important, it is. A few months ago, I was so freaking constipated, I didn't even know it first off, that I looked like this. And then I forgot that I had stopped taking my electrolytes every single day or drinking my electrolytes every single day because I ran out. And once I started drinking my electrolytes again, I looked like this. So if you don't think that they're important, they are. Help with the fluid balance in your body. They help with your muscle soreness. They, they are just something that you need. I always have them linked in my description, the ones that I really like. Um, but I have tried a bunch of them and these are like my top three that I really enjoy and they'll be down there. The next supplement is collagen. This one I know is a little bit controversial this might just be mental for me to be honest with you, but I really feel like collagen helps, like our body is made up of type three collagen. That is what our skin is made up of, okay? I worked in healthcare for some years. I know a few things, I know a few things. So I really do think that adding collagen into your diet is really good. I use collagen in my coffee every morning and I really do feel like it helps with my hair and it helps with my skin. And 
I'm not a super vain person. I'm not trying to not look like I'm not aging. Like that's just the beauty of life. But I do really feel like it helps me feel and look great in my skin. Protein powders are something that I also think are a very good thing to do, especially because I said earlier, protein is something that none of us get enough of and it is so important. And when I eat enough protein, I can really tell a difference in my body and my energy levels. I just feel a hell of a lot better. I will link the ones that I like down below. Obviously those are going to be low carb, sugar free, keto, those kind of things. But I use them in my smoothies. I will make protein coffees. And really those are the only two things that I use it in is smoothies and protein coffees. And I don't really have it every single day. I just have it when I know that I am not going to get enough protein that my body deserves that day. Regaining control of your spaces. Ah, I had you fooled, didn't I? You thought I was a clean machine. Oh, the puppy! So if you're like me and you ride the Hot Mess Express station every single day and your house looks like a disaster, and I'm not just time, like talking about like the everyday little messes. You have some plates over here, and oh my gosh, my house is so dirty because there's a tiny plate over here. I'm talking like you need to declutter and you need to regain the control of your spaces and get rid of some stuff. That That's what we're talking about here. Think back to when your seasonal depression was the worst, okay? Think about your spaces and how you felt in those spaces. Did you feel calm? Did you feel overwhelmed? Did you feel cozy? Did you feel stressed? That is what I'm working with here. My biggest stress area is our living room, dining room, and my, bro my brother, my boyfriend's video game section. I call that my trigger space. That is a space that will trigger me instantly. Um, <laughs> so we will be tackling that. So find your trigger spaces and slowly start to tackle them. Let's start creating habits now for our everyday life to get into a better cleaning routine, to get into a better daily routine. I am not the person who has a morning routine, who has a nighttime routine. It looks different every single day for me and I'm fine with that. I don't need a set routine. I am not a set routine person. However, there are things that I would like to be able to do in a day. I feel like I need to have a list of things I wanna get done in a day and be able to check them off every single day. So for me, that would look like waking up, brushing my teeth, and washing my face. Those are my only two expectations of myself in the morning. And getting dressed, that's not a huge issue for me. Um, I guess putting on clean clothes could be one, because your girl struggles with that. When I come home, I would like to be able to do at least 15 minutes of some type of cleaning every single day. I did really good with that at the beginning of the summer, and then I completely fell off of it because I was getting home extremely late from work. Dinner. We have fallen off the dinner wagon of having homemade dinners. So I would like to have at least three to four homemade dinners a week. And then at nighttime, washing my face and brushing my teeth. Those are really my only goals for the day, right? I mean, that's still a lot of things to check off, but I would say I do all of those things maybe twice a week, maybe. I want to do things that make me feel good in my own skin and make me proud of myself. And that might sound ridiculous that that is washing my face and brushing my teeth and all of these things, but it is. And that should also make you proud as well. So, so just implementing small things every single day because in the next couple months, those will add up to very large things that will set you up for success when your seasonal saddies are kicking our assies. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was not that funny, but it was funny to me. So this is exactly what I'm trying to prevent from happening, but I do think that this is a good video with a lot of good tips about cleaning and such and what helped me a lot. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful and that you start getting ahead of your seasonal saddies now because you deserve to feel good all year round, friend. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.